make sure we're right in the thing. Okay. Right, so um, last week we did sweep shot. Remind me about some of the bits that we talked about. Um, head over, head over knees and toes. Yeah. And um, knees and toes. The head should be forty degrees. Yeah, so right over that front foot, isn't it really? Getting that, that's where your balance comes from. You said you were over, you were slightly overbalancing before. We worked on that, didn't we, and getting you stable. Okay, so we're going to develop that this week. We're going to start off, um, I'm going to just throw balls at you. We're going to use slightly heavier balls this time rather than the tennis balls. And I just want you sweeping into the side netting. Okay, as we progress that, we're going to progress today into the paddle sweep and the slog sweep as well. And then eventually we're going to go on the machine. All right, so if you want to take your spot, I'll get you set up. So Ross, we'll do these balls first, and then we'll go on to the little uh, incredible balls, all right? So just getting in the right position and sweeping into that net. Good lad. Good. Nice. Sweep that. With a bit of a poor delivery. Good lad. Oh. It's alright, so do you remember we talked about that back leg? Yeah, what was it doing there? It's buckling under, isn't it? Try and keep that straight. Last one of these heavy ones. Oh, sweep it. Sorry, that was a bad delivery. Okay, so incredibles. Sorry. Nice. Well, they're coming out all over the place today, aren't they? This isn't good. Good lad. Good, that's a good one. Right. Slightly off balance there. Let's clear those ones up. How'd you find that? Yeah, rushing it a little bit. Yeah, what about your balance? Do you feel balanced? Um, some, sometimes. But yeah, I think a few times. So tell me, tell me about the ones that didn't feel balanced. What do you think was happening? I was playing the shot too early. Missing, missing the ball. Yeah, well you were doing that definitely. Do you think the balance was uh, caused by the back foot alignment or back foot? Your head? Or the swing from trying to hit it too hard? So really, I think that probably the swing you can control anyway. Um, if you've got the right base, it doesn't matter how hard you swing, you should, be able to, you, you should be able to still maintain your balance. I think at the moment you're slightly, you're, you're stepping slightly over this way and your head's leaning over. So you're ending up falling over in that direction. Okay, so let's try and get ourselves in a bit more of a straight position so we're at the ball there. My head, can you see my, where my head is in relation to my foot? Yeah, so it's, it's right over the top, isn't it? And I can bang, I can go there. Rather than, I think what you're, you're slightly sort of in that, that position there. 
there's only one way I can go that way. Is that it's falling over in that direction? Okay, so let's, try, let's give that another go. We'll use all those and then we'll work into the power sweep and the slow sweep. And I'll try and get my delivery a little bit straighter. Okay, are you set? It's better. Do you remember what we talked about, the ones that are slightly overpitched? Do you get right forward to them and you're turning them into a full toss? And you can get there rather than leaning back slightly and trying to play there. Still get over that front foot, turn it into a full toss and it's run. Okay. Don't worry about that one. Good lad. Swing too hard. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Good. That's better. Hold it there. Hold that. Hold that. Oh. All right. What do you think was? What do you think was different about that one? Yeah, your head was right over that front foot, which meant your balance was more or less perfect. You were in, in line, in balance, and bang, you can hit it as hard as you like. Okay, when you're slightly off, you fall over. Don't want to miss it. So that's where we want to be. Ignore it. Good. Sweep it. Good lad. Right, we're entering credit balls. Lad. So it's well balanced that. Good. Do you feel, do you feel solid there? I feel better. Those. Let's clear those ones up. Say it again. Yeah. So there's, there were a few. I think you've you, we sort of we've almost forgotten that, haven't we? we so sort of, you stood there and then going rather than getting in that position. So I, that was something I was going to I wanted to talk to you about and developing that so you can use the forward press and then go. Okay. Do you remember what we said about line uh, it, when when it comes to sweeping and whether it's important or not? So it's, it's, yeah, so the length, we can sweep on any line and, and any length to be fair, the further back it is obviously we can't, but um, the line doesn't matter where, where the ball is, you can sweep it. Okay, so I, there were a few that I've thrown, some a little bit too wide, 
um, granted, but some of them I've, I've thrown in and you sort of, you're either leaving them or just not getting there. So we need to make sure that we can sweep in those. Once you've decided that's where you want to sweep and those are your options, we need to be able to use those. Do you, do you remember what we talked about and why we sweep? Put him off his line length also to nick a couple of ones to rotate the strike. You know, the, if, if, you've, if you've got a bowler who's turning the ball square, you're safer at that end, aren't you, than this end. So if you can get off, mark, off the mark, if you can get up that end, let the other guy face, he can then do the same. If you keep rotating that, he's soon going to lose his line length. So these sweeps, if you've got a man out here, you've got an option to sweep here, or slog sweep. If you've got a man there and there, we can sweep there. And it moves the field around, doesn't it? So if you, if you can target an area that you're particularly strong in, but there's a field there, the sweep allows you to then utilise another area the bowler or the captain may move someone into that gap and then you've got another gap to hit. Okay, so you're, you're not only changing the strike, rotating the strike and scoring runs, but you're also manipulating the field and that allows you to score in the areas that you want to score in. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to try and go for paddle sweep now. Okay, do you know what I mean by paddle sweep? Show me. Yeah, yeah, so we're just, just knocking it down there. Okay, and then a slog sweep, you've clearly got that down. You've used that a few times. Show me your slog sweep. Yeah. So slog sweep, we're playing in front of square. Paddle sweep behind, and just normal sweep, we're probably playing roughly around square. Okay, so we'll give that a go. I'll throw a few to you. I just want you knocking them down that way. Then we'll go up to the machine and get the machine working, and we'll do all three, okay? Sound good? use cricket balls this time okay they're slightly heavier they're easier for me to throw and you to hit set oh that was a bad deliver yeah nice Try and, try and hit them now so they're below, so they hit the white bit rather than above the white bit. It's alright. Nice. Oh! Don't forget your press. Those two you didn't, you didn't press. Okay, set. Nice. Good. I think you've got that. That's fine. That's fine. So, um... When, when do you think you use that? Yeah. Oh, does it need to be fine leg? Does it need to be no fine leg, or...? These were a bit wide or uh, a bit far away. It's quite deep, yeah. yeah. If he's all the way out on the boundary, absolutely you can use that. So when you're when you're going forward, where's the ball hitting the net here? Roughly. Yeah, it's a bit higher than that. Yeah. Ideally if you want to, if you're gonna be hitting them that high, you don't want there to be a 45 in the ring. Okay, so it needs to be quite deep. If we can keep that low, just getting it on the floor, or just touching it, you do, all you're doing is helping it on its way, aren't you? So we just want to be helping it on its way and try and keep it as low as we can. If there's a 45 and you get caught, it's a bit annoying. So, okay? Yeah. Right, so, let's grab those as well. I don't want to lose my brand new cricket balls. Okay? Alright, so we'll get, we'll get the machine set up and um, they're all going to be landing around the same place, okay? Um, do you remember we've used the 1, 2, 3 before? So one, two, and three. Okay. So if I shout one, paddle sweep, two, normal sweep, three, slug sweep. Okay, and we'll do that and we'll see how we get on, all right?
I'm not going to set any spin on this, I just want you to work in the shot, okay? Come up here. So we're not going to put any spin on this one. All I want you to do is work on the shot, okay? We can build into the spin later on. I just want us working on the shot, alright? That's nowhere near where we want it, is it? Very good. Are you set? We good? Just to get you in the right positioning, just go for paddle sweeps, okay? So I just want you putting it in one. Okay, so everything's gonna go to one. Go into two. So still looking at two. Okay, still at two. position that's better good that's much better well last three That's fine.
find that. It's a bit different when it's coming out of the machine, isn't it, rather than me just chucking it. What, what, what do you think was bad? Why do you think it was bad? Why was that? I think uh, I was being a bit slow with the uh, machine mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't get in a good position or base to play the shot. Yeah, so um, let's, look, let's talk about the paddle sweeps first. So the reason I asked you to do that is just so you can get in your position. When you're paddle sweeping, you're in, you're in your spot, you're not really swinging, you're just, just pushing the ball. So that was just to get you in the position. Um, why do you think... Why do you think you uh, you didn't get them all down there and someone coming up, someone hitting you? What do you think caused that? I was going over the line. There was an element of that? What else? What's really important when you're trying to hit a ball? Well, there's two of them in your heads. Eyes. Yeah, eyes. Where do you think your eyes were in relation to the ball when you were hitting? Yeah. So do you just want to stand in front of me and I'll show you what, what I observed you doing? So when you were when you were getting yourself into position, you were getting to there, and then you, you got yourself into cut into sweep, but then you go like that. Now what am I going to be able to see of the ball coming from that direction if my eyes are looking there? I'm not, am I? You've got you've got all your protection on, so if the ball if it hits you, it hits you. It's not it's only coming at 35, 40 miles an hour, so it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt you. You've got your face full on. If you keep your eyes on that ball there. So if I'm looking there and the ball's hitting the front of my back, my eyes are straight on that. So I can hit that and I know then I've got full control over it. So that's one observation. Let's try and keep our eyes in on the back. Okay? Uh, and on the ball. Um, when we moved into uh, hitting the ball square, so it's our normal sweeps, what do you think about that? How did that go for you? I can't, I can't hear you when you've got your thing in your mouth. Let's put that on and then, and then answer me again. I think I did better um, with the square thing than the paddle sweep. Yeah. Um, I played like some, but most of them have missed it or uh, etched it. Yeah. Um, so some of them you absolutely creamed. And towards the end uh, of that, that little bucket, they were, you were hitting them really well through there. Do you know what the difference between those excuse me, and the ones at the start were? Um, also, my, what, my eyes were... Like, you were, yeah, definitely that. <laughs> so com compared to the paddle sweeps, definitely. Um, but well, if we're thinking just about the ones that you swept square, what do you think is different? Um, so I'll give you a clue. What's that? That's my base, isn't it? Well, how do you think your base was during those sweeps to start with? It wasn't particularly strong, it was a bit wobbly and rushed and you were, you were kneeling down and playing from there. We were, we've been working on last week and earlier today, getting in that position there. So we're over the ball and we can sweep there. Okay, so getting that solid base. I think, to me it looked like you were rushing it slightly. I, I, that's probably because you've moved from me throwing the ball to you to a machine and you're not quite used to it yet. That'll come. So the ones you've got, the ones where you've put yourself in the, uh, a solid base position and got your hands in the right place, fine, you're absolutely fine. Okay, so let's work on for paddle sweeps, keeping our eye on the ball, keeping our head still on the ball, and for our normal sweeps, just making sure that we get in that solid base position and then we can play our shots. You've clearly got the slot sweeps working, we've played a few of those as well. So we're not going to worry too much about that, I just want you looking at one and two at the moment. Is that alright? So we'll start with one and then we'll move to two. Get your press. That's good. That's good. 
That's fine. for one eyes better don't turn your head you're tempted then weren't you Slightly turned away. That's better. Right. We've got last one. No, last three. Okay, so I want a one, then a two, then a three. Okay. That's fine. Two. Good. Now three. Oh no, you've lost me a bowling machine ball. Alright, let's get these picked up. So what do you think? Yeah? Oh, much better than the last bucket. That, so that paddle sweep, the, the, when you just push around the corner, could you feel the difference? Could you tell the difference when your head was in line? How many more did you hit this time than you did the first? A lot more. It looks, it, for, for me up there, it looked like you hit, pretty much, well you did hit every one of them. And you're in, it looked like you were in complete control. You knew where the ball was, you knew where it was going. When you did slightly turn, do you know where the ball went? Is the top edge, it was going quite high up into that corner, wasn't it? And that increases the chance of someone, if there is a, uh, a fine leg or a 45, of catching it. If we've got it there and we're keeping an eye on it, they tend to be going a little bit flat, a little bit lower. So we've got complete control and keeping it level. What about the ones into here? They're going up in the air, yeah, I noticed that as well. Why do you think that is? So to get the ball in the air, when it's when you're low, what do I have to do to get the ball in the air? Well, if my bat here is here, what do I have to do? To get it up in the air up here. That's where I'm going up, don't I? So I'm going from here, up there, to get it up in the air. We don't want to do that, do we? Because we can get out. So we want to be going from there, what's my bat path if I want to keep it low? Not necessarily. It might help, but what else? It's high to low, isn't it? It's just one back pass, so you're just there, bang. Nice and easy. It's harder to do that than it is to do that. Think about the time it's going to take me to get from there to there in one line rather than from there underneath and up. Okay? That can work if, the player, if there's a player up, but really we want to be keeping that in control and playing it down. So we're playing from there there. Okay, so this time we'll do the same thing again. We'll focus on two to start with this time. And I want you uh, having your back path coming from high to low. So trying to keep that ball low. So can you see these marks here? I don't want them going higher than that. Okay? Good with that? 
Excellent. That's fine. It's good pace, that. Good. You struck that well. Good. That's good. Stuck, don't worry. Good, that one there, absolutely perfect. Okay, great base, really nice high back coming down uh, uh, from high to low. That went what, about three, four inches off the ground? Ideal. Whoops. Top edge. Yeah, good. Well controlled. Yeah, very good. 